Hello and thank you for tuning into this week's Mayor's Update. As always, we have a lot of important information to share with you here this week, so please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, relatives, and anyone else who you think might find this information helpful over the course of the coming week. We had a uh, notice from the Gardner Fire Department asking us to remind people that as the weather gets warmer, please do remember to be careful with things, particularly grills, or uh, if you are a smoker where you're uh, depositing your cigarettes. We had four different fires this past week, two of which happened because there were grills on second or third floor porches that were in enclosed uh, locations. That is actually illegal here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. In both of those instances, the grill started a fire on the porch and in one case causing upwards of $20,000 to the building. Uh, two other locations, we had a mulch fire in which a person threw a cigarette into some mulch over at Old English Village, or another one left a cigarette uh, on a railing near a building and that caused a fire as well. So while the weather does get warmer, if you do start grilling outside, if you spend more time outside, please do make sure you are being careful and not causing any hazardous conditions, especially with how dry and windy it's been. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're preventing any big issues uh, from happening because those could have been a lot worse had certain conditions or the wind picked up just in the right way after that. I want to say a warm welcome to the city of Gardner to Mr. Jim Asiato. Uh, Mr. Asiato is the new funeral director over at Boucher's Funeral Home uh, who stopped by my office to introduce himself along with the funeral home's new lead director Jacob Cormier. Uh, so congratulations Jim on your recent appointment and looking forward to seeing you around the community more. Haywood Hospital had their uh, awards banquet to honor their staff members who have been there for several years. So I want to say congratulations to all of the staff members who were honored that night, but also a very warm uh, thank you and a heartfelt thank you to all of our nurses at Haywood Hospital and around the community as this past week was also Nurses Appreciation Week. If you think about everything we've been through in the past two years with the pandemic alone, let alone everything else that we've gone through, uh, we really do owe our nurses a great deal of thanks uh, and I'm glad we were able to celebrate our nurses who had been you know, active in our community for several years. Uh, we also had a similar event like that over at Wachusett Manor this past week. So any chance that we get to recognize the people who really put themselves on the line every day to make sure that the people in this community have the services that they need is always good for us here in the city. The Gardner High School and Gardner Middle School joined together this past week at uh, Gardner High School to host an art show for our students, just like we had the Gardner Elementary School art show that took place this past Thursday uh, in the evening at Gardner High School. So thank you very much to Mrs. Frances Lemire who put that on. The uh, display boards that the art was put on were purchased by the Williams Rockwell Trust Fund. Uh, and it was a way that the school could get a little extra boost with the grant funding that was received there so that we could show off the artwork of our students. Uh, so thank you to, to all of our students for your dedication to the arts and for our teachers to giving our students that extra boost to uh, really express themselves in a different way that you normally might not see in a normal art class by having these types of art shows. I want to say another congratulations to our local Eagle Scout, uh, Sean Bastine, who was awarded his Eagle Scout this weekend. Uh, Sean's uh, Eagle Scout project was over at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Winchenden. He made a special memorial for veterans who are interned there, uh, who were also Eagle Scouts. So thank you very much, Sean, for adding that little extra special piece there to the Veterans Memorial Cemetery for our region and for your commitment to us here in the community. And best of luck at your rest of your time at Gardner High School. Now, some of you may be wondering why we're in uh, some people call it Bullnose Park. It's officially named Chair City Park, but downtown Gardner, right in the heart of downtown, between Pleasant Street and Main Street. I'm actually at the Flatiron Building here, if you couldn't tell from the lions next to me, uh, to let you all know that this building has officially sold and has been closed on. Uh, Mr. Dean Marcus did sell the building to Candor Realty out of Haverhill, which is a subset of uh, Millennium uh, Holding Group. Uh, Mr. John Bombacci, their president and CEO, has met with me several times and is really excited about the new opportunities that we have here in the city. They've also recently closed on the property at 88 to 98 Main Street, right next to the Blue Moon Diner, that houses that tattoo parlor, uh, Kevin's Barbershop, and two open storefronts. One of those open storefronts will be Candor Realty's brand new realty office. Uh, when I was talking to Mr. Bombacci, he notified us that if he's going to make this much of an investment into the downtown, he wants to show the people who live here that they are accountable to the people who live here as well. So thank you very much to John and his team from Candor Realty uh, for making that large investment and going so far as to even spend a little extra money so that the Lions can stay here in Bullnose Park as well. Uh, very exciting for us to see here. A lot of events coming up in the next week, a lot of things coming up just in general here in the downtown. 
with the potential of the city council voting on the, uh, my proposal to close a small section of Pleasant Street to increase our outdoor seating options that we have here. So make sure you continue to watch these mayor's updates uh, so you can really know everything to expect in the upcoming weeks and throughout the summer months. And if, as always, if you have any questions on anything that is coming up or anything that was said in these videos, please feel free to contact my office at any time. Thank you very much and have a great day.